So let's talk about ambulance or ambulance, as I like to call it. I've seen some other people calling it ambalance. <laughs> At this point, when I see a Michael Bay movie, I kind of look forward to certain things that I've come to expect. It's kind of the same mentality that I go into a Roland Emmerich movie with. And Ambulance did not disappoint me because I got all the Bayisms and all the Bayhem and direct references to his own films, multiple references, in fact. He's also discovered a drone and he's put his tiny 6K camera on top of it and he really had a lot of fun using that drone because there are so many shots that go in and out of impossible locations and twist around. And at times it was actually really cool, but I think he overused it just a bit. So this movie's about two brothers played by Yahya Abdul-Mateen II and Jake Gyllenhaal who steal an ambulance when their bank heist goes to shit. And the rest of the movie is them inside an ambulance with a bleeding out cop and an EMT worker that's trying to save the cop's life and also not die herself. Michael Bay is apparently one of the few filmmakers that can still make a mid-budget action movie that would have normally come out in 1996, and I am here for it. This movie's absurd. There are so many close-up, shaky, zoomy camera angles, tons of quick-cut editing, but it's not as jarring or, frankly, unwatchable as Six Underground, his last film. Despite how frenetic the action in this movie is, he toned it down compared to that last film. And I enjoyed the two lead characters. I thought they played off each other really well. I love the tension that was set up around the fact that they have to stay inside of this ambulance and they keep finding new things for them to do. There's a scene that I'm sure any real life medical professionals would scoff at, but it was riveting. They have to perform a surgery on this cop because the two robbers don't want the cop to die because then if they get caught, their sentence will be exponentially worse than if he survives. And of course, the EMT worker doesn't want him to die either, and so they had to perform this emergency surgery while also driving super fast. So it's kind of like a mashup of speed in that movie Armored. Similar to most Michael Bay movies, there's a lot of jokes that are awkward and don't really land. There's a character that everyone keeps talking down to because he's younger and he calls the older cops boomers, even though he has like gray hair on his sideburns and he looks like he might be 45 years old. <laughs> And a quick IMDb search reveals that that actor is almost 45 years old, which is a strange casting choice for someone who calls everyone boomers. <laughs> and there are plenty of firework-laden explosions and a lot of unnecessary macho yelling. But I'll be honest, all of that just made me enjoy the movie even more, because at this point when I go to see a Michael Bay movie, I kind of expect it and even hope for it a little bit. And like I said, a mid-budget action movie with a plot like this is stuff that I would like to see more of from Hollywood, and only a few filmmakers are able to get it done nowadays, and I'm glad that Michael Bay made it. Thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this video. Native's plastic-free deodorant now comes in a new and improved package. It's earth-friendly and 100% plastic-free. This is the same formula as their regular deodorant with much more sustainable packaging. It's made with 90% post-consumer recycled paper, and Native is a proud partner of 1% for the planet, committing 1% of plastic-free deodorant sales to environmental nonprofits. Native is committed to sourcing paper for the packaging from responsibly managed forests. The ingredients are aluminum-free and paraben-free, vegan and cruelty-free. For scents, there's a wide range of choices, with new limited edition and sensitive scents being released all the time. Normally, three plastic-free deodorants would be $39, but if you use my link and my code, STUCKMAN, you'll get them for $26. That's over 33% off. And with the code STUCKMAN, you can also get 20% off any body wash or toothpaste. The deodorants that I tested were lilac and white tea, aloe and green tea for sensitive skin, and cotton and lily also for sensitive skin. All of which not only smelled wonderful, but didn't bother my skin as many deodorants have in the past. And my personal favorite by far is the sensitive cotton and lily. So please check out that link in the description below and thank you so much to Native for sponsoring this video. So if you get a chance to go see it in theaters, please do, because I'd like to see more films of this budget range with this type of story. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I have more reviews coming for you very soon, and if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.